Hello, Master Gardeners. I was out this morning early and I found myself a nice big moth that I wanted to share with you. So this is one of our one of our big silk moths and you probably know which one it is. It's the big polyphemus which you can tell by the eye spots on the back of him. So come on, let's take a look. I, I know he's a male because he has very large comb-like antenna at the top of him. But he's one of our largest silk moths. You've already seen one of the Luna moths that I'd found before. Um, we have a large halogen light below the barn and unfortunately it attracts some of these moths. Maybe not so good thing to have up. But anyway, come on over. Let's take a look at this. I'm pretty excited having found this fella. I'm going to lay him here on a clipboard so you can zoom in on him. So there he is. And I actually had him in the refrigerator for a few minutes in an effort to try to slow him down a little and get him to relax. But look at those nice big large eye spots on the back of him, which is one of the characteristics of the silk moths. Here he is, he's gonna be still. So those are in concentric rings around there. You can guess what those eye spots function as. When a predator approaches him, he'll flap his front wings and accentuate his back eyeballs and show those eye spots real clearly so that the predator thinks he's a much larger animal and will it'll deter him and they say it's actually effective against blue jays and things that might uh, try to attack the moth so this is a big male the characteristic of the male as i said is those large antenna much more comb like at the top let me try to hold him see if he'll stay still while i kind of point these are much wider than a female would have and being one of the silk moths I should have said the concentric rings on the back of it that's what puts it in that family which is Saturn Dei, Dei. so that's the family meaning Saturn and the moon has lots of concentric rings around it and so does this these large eye spots on a lot of these silk moths so it's related to the Cer uh, Cercopia and the uh, what's the other one I found the Luna for you and the big Anyway, there's lots of other big silk moths. So fascinating thing about moths is they always have these big chubby stout bodies, often hairy. You know, 90% of the Lepidoptera species are moths. So this is a traditional fat bodied, real, real hairy. So what is he doing? For the next two weeks, he's not gonna feed at all. For two weeks, all his only job is to mate with a female and find her. And actually she can release a pharaoh. They say within the two hours of sunrise, she releases the most potent pharaoh and then he finds her, they mate, and by the next day, she's already laying eggs. So what kind of trees are they looking for? They're looking in your yard for things like oaks, willows, cherries, maples. Those are the traditional favorites that they like. And they can lay eggs, and they lay them in ones or twos, either way, and sometimes in threes. And then they don't really become predators of the plant. You're not gonna find damage, per se as a result of these caterpillars feeding. But the caterpillar is just a big old green guy. He's got some yellow stripes between his segments. Super well camouflaged on your plant. So the main predators would be things like squirrels when they pupate, they will eat their babies. And um, when they pupate, the pupa is a cocoon-like. It's not a chrysalis as butterflies do. But his cocoon is gonna be hopefully attached to a twig on a branch both ends of the chrysalis i wish i had one because oftentimes master gardeners find those chrysalises in their gardens and they'll bring them in and say what kind of moth is this but the chrysalis is predator the predators will consume it when it falls to the ground you can guess who eats it the mice but one of the main problems with this particular moth these days is the tachnid fly which is a parasitoid for their cocoons as well and they were intentionally released to control the gypsy moth caterpillars but sometimes we feel like the research is showing that they're predators of our native a lot of our native moths which is a problem so this guy is a welcome common moth that you could find in harford county certainly named polyphemus did i say his name polyphemus which is named for the greek mythology cyclops which was that big old one-eyed guy he was the son of uh, poseidon so that's where his name comes from so the big polyphemus hope you enjoy seeing him on on this cool 60 degree foggy morning in june see ya